Burrow joins us, ABC News correspondent. More news about the Affordable Care Act and health insurance companies who are leaving it. Good morning, Ryan Burrow. Good morning. Yeah, this uh, news today, it's all kind of what you want to hear and what you don't want to hear, right? Uh, first of all, let's talk about the uh, the rates that uh, were just announced in Illinois. Uh, apparently, these rates are going to go up. The Illinois Department of Insurance submitting rates uh, to the Center for Medicare and Medicaid. They're the ones who give the ultimate approval. And these rates can fluctuate anywhere between uh, 43 to 55 percent increases uh, for some of these premiums, a 21-year-old non-smoker from Cook County, which is where Chicago is, $70 increase for the silver plan, uh, and about a $50 increase for a uh, middle-aged person in Lake and McHenry counties. Um, but these do not include all those tax credits and tax breaks, which about 75% of uh, at least Illinois people who buy into the insurance marketplace get. Are, so, are, those, are uh, those $50 a month, $70 a month increases? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. we're talking uh, uh, a month increases. Uh, the, those are for people who are just paying straight up. If you're getting the tax break, those will help uh, you know soften the blow a little bit. Now, HHS yesterday held a press conference, or at least a teleconference, uh, explaining that you know while a lot of rates are going uh, up, not just in Illinois, but you know North Carolina, Ohio, basically across the country, um, they're not too worried with uh, exploding. Uh, rates month to month because uh, they say that, you know, these tax credits will kick in and a lot of these people out. They also say that competition will uh, keep rates low uh, when you go to the marketplace and try to buy these. I don't know if that's going to make a lot of people who, who, who buy from the marketplace feel good, but uh, they seem to feel confident that even if uh, in many of these states, rates go up 50%. Um, most of the people who are paying into the system will still be paying $75 or less per month for yeah. insurance. Uh, Ryan Burrow, I, uh, you know, this similar here, Aetna announced it uh, last week, which affected um, Illinois or um, Missouri quite a bit. Uh, now there are some counties and some places that only have one insurer, some have none. But regular insurance, people who get their insurance through their companies, that's going up exponentially. So I love how people are so outraged over the exchange rates going up when everything's going up. If we have to pay more, then those people on the exchanges should have to pay more. Yeah, that, that's a great point. You know, it's kind of hard because in many cases we're, we're kind of comparing apples to oranges, too. I mean, uh, while, you know, the rates that I mentioned about the 21-year-old in, in Cook County, uh, you know, exploding $75, you know, it, it all is really based on the plan they're taking in, the amount of, ta you know, the tax break they're getting on top of that. Um, you know, and you, you factor in other things like where you live and, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Cook County versus, uh, you know, somewhere downstate, uh, Illinois. I mean, that, that all factors into too. And then, like you said, I mean, everyone's individual insurance is going up. Now, HHS says that uh, even though, you know, we're seeing rates go up, they're still uh, not nearly as high as the rates were going up prior to Obamacare taking effect. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. It's obviously the administration, uh, right. you know, commenting on that. So, you know, it's also, um, it's, it's also your health and your health insurance. Right. If that's going up, then maybe, you you know, that's your most important bill. <laughs> you know, it isn't like I'm going to do away with my health insurance so I can get a full data plan on my phone. Um, that's kind of an important deal. And I think a lot of people look at it as, oh, I'm, I really don't want to pay my health insurance. That should be your first bill you pay. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. And, you know, uh, the HHS received a lot of questions yesterday, first about the deductibles. They say that these numbers are included in all the deductible rates. It's not uh, necessarily that, you know, you're de deductible is going to skyrocket while you're going to be paying a lower monthly. That's not necessarily the case. They factored all that in. The other thing, um, a lot of questions were asked about, you know, a lot of people upping and leaving and the competition not being as stiff. And they seem to think that, uh, you know, what happened in the beginning, all these insurance companies jumped onto Obamacare with extremely low rates. And, and uh, now, you know, everything's kind of settling and they realize right. what the rate really should be. And it's kind of correcting itself. Ryan Burrow, ABC News correspondent, talking about uh, Illinois and uh, the uh, rates going up in Illinois as well as here in um, uh, Missouri. Ryan Burrow, thanks for checking in. All right, take care. 725, bid 550.